Hello, I am Dr. Santosh Bethu. I am a consultant urologist working at Columbia Asia Hospital Whitefield and I am a visiting consultant with the Columbia Asia Hospital Eshwantpur and Abad. So, bladder cancer is a cancerous growth in the urinary bladder. So, how do you come to know the, whether somebody has a uh, bladder cancer? See, it can be silent, like if a small tumor in the bladder, you may not recognize it. But most commonly, the people will, or the patients will present with the blood in the urine. That is very typically it's called a painless hematuria. You mean to say there is no pain, but there is a lot of blood in the urine. It can vary from something called a microscopic hematuria, that's the blood which is detected by a microscopic examination of the urine, to a frank hematuria. Frank hematuria means frank blood coming in the urine. This is the most common symptom of uh, bladder cancer. It can also present with pain abdomen, pain in the lower abdominal area or pain in the region of kidneys especially if the cancer is blocking the kidneys. In the advanced stage, the bladder cancer can present with loss of appetite means you, know, in a, you don't have a good appetite or you lose weight and sudden loss of weight, uh, generalized weakness. These are the common things which present in the advanced bladder cancer. So, how to prevent the bladder cancer depends on the what causes the bladder cancer. The most common cause of bladder cancer is smoking. Once the bladder cancer comes, it's, 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 it has to be treated. But again, the smoking is the common cause which is there for few years. Even after quitting smoking, the risk will remain developing the cancer because the smoking will continue for some more time. Even if you quit a smoking today, the, the risk will continue for few more years. So the most common thing you can do or the most easiest way to prevent bladder cancer is stop smoking. The other thing which can cause bladder cancer is the people who work with the painting industry, they work with batteries, they are with some petroleum products. These are the things which especially people work in factories, they can develop these cancers. So to prevent that, the companies has to educate their people who are exposed to these chemicals then they need to undergo a regular screening test it can be identified early so it can be treated easily